it more, Superman or Batman? Let's talk about this shit. I prefer Dark Knight. He ain't no OP overpowered goddamn motherfucker. He's just a technological genius. Before that fucking catastrophe my neck. Oh yeah, I forgot to do the re the own reveal on the Copenhagen mint pouches that I had in my lip. I'm gonna tell you how it tastes. I give it a nine out of ten, just because it's a damn pouch. I don't like pouches that like long cut. It's too late in the afternoon for that fucking pouches shit. I'm probably going to do a couple more pouches videos probably one more but right now I'm going to do a Copenhagen winter green pouch since I only got one of these left too because he gave me a whole bunch of pouches I don't know he was kind of weird he just pulls out cans He's like hey mate smell this I'm like Okay, it smells like wintergreen. Here, have a pouch. Dude, do you have a spare can? Yeah, I have like three. Here's a spare Copenhagen mint can for your mint pouch, grizzly pouch can, and Copenhagen wintergreen pouch can. That was like fucking sick as tit. Why am I packing a pouch? I don't know. Like I said. I'll just toss it in there where which way it goes, it goes. Nah. Get that can back over here. But yeah. With this hype of this new Superman v Batman movie. What the fuck is wrong with people? They try and spoil shit and everything. Well, guess what? You can't spoil it for me. I read the fucking comics. Trust me, I can spoil the whole Superman vs. Batman series for you. In every step of the way. So... If you don't want to hear a spoiler, I recommend skipping it to the end for the review or what I think of this. But yeah, they say, oh, the movie didn't play out like the comics. Okay. Superman and Batman in the comics didn't find good grounds at the time with each other because, you know, Batman was... Always the darker side, and Superman was the lighter dude. Evil played both of them together. I forgot the evil guy's name. The thing was dark side. Well, they play. He played both Batman and Superman against each other, let alone Lex Luthor and all of them. Though they did not find better grounds on their fucking mother's names. No, that did not play out. They literally beat the hell out of each other until both of them were nearly dead. Then they became best friends because they honored each other's strength. Later in the comics, I think this does play out like it should in the movie. Where Apocalypse comes down and beats the hell out of Superman. It did. But in the comics, Superman died. Why Superman died? Because Apocalypse has the power of all crystal-like matter. He ends up killing Superman with the power of Kryptonite. Because Apocalypse was practically the thing that crashed into Krypton, ending the whole fucking planet. He kills Superman. Superman somehow revives. I can't remember shit. I was like six when I read these comics. Superman beats the shit out of him. 
Apocalypse gets sent into the Phantom Dimension. And all that shit happens. Now here's the funny story. The Donna Justice movie? No. Wonder Woman didn't join this fucking Justice League until everyone else joined it. I mean, the Flash was there before her. Green Lantern was there before her. Aquaman was even there before her. Cyborg was never in the fucking Justice League. He was a goddamn Teen Titan until, like, I don't know, the 2000s. Yeah, he was in the fucking Teen Titans. Got that piece of shit of Teen Titans Go! For Christ's sake, people, why do you have to ruin my childhood? First you take Teen Titans, then Scooby-Doo, you better not fuck up Powerpuff Girls. I swear to God, you fuck up Powerpuff Girls, I'm going straight to fucking Cartoon Network and kicking the CEO in the ass. Yeah. So I end up kicking the CEO in the ass. Tell him, what the fuck is going through your head? Why are you making all these shows more for children who won't get the concept in a year of the show? Because they'll probably be growing out of it or some shit like that. Don't get me wrong, these sh Keep it cool, Scooby-Doo, that was a piece of shit. Teen Titans Go actually did have some good episodes. I actually enjoyed the series a little bit. It wasn't better than the original. I'm far from that. The original Teen Titans show will always be the best. Now they're trying to make a Teen Titans vs. The Justice League. God dang it, they put pants on Raven. I like that when she was basically wearing the black bikini. I know I'm kind of a perv. Don't don't say you enjoy that either. Raven always had the fucking black bikini like thing, the one piece bikini like fucking shit. But you know, you got a concept, you got a grasp of concept of fucking age. Sometimes you grow out of that shit. But yeah, I'm going to give the the review on this. I'm not really too big on winter greens, but I give this an 8 out of 10. It's a good dip. I quite enjoy it. I, if you want to dip in the morning before you go to work or school and don't have to worry about having all that shit in your fucking grill, get some pouches. Even though they're like bloody tampons in a can, but that doesn't mean go dip your fucking girlfriend's bloody tampons. That's fucking disgusting, mate. But yeah. I'm gonna pick you up some pouches so that you have something to dip before work or dip at work. Because we all know if you pack you a whip and your boss walks by, you ain't got no time to. Like that shit in the back cheek. And then place it back up to your lip after he or she left. Yeah, 8 out of 10. I'm about to do another review really quickly. Because everyone wants me to go do some wrestling shit with them today. So. Keep packing those cans and I'll keep blowing my lip. Jack out.